Good evening, guys. Welcome to tonight's video. So I want to talk tonight about counting calories. Do you need to count calories to lose weight? And the short answer is no, you don't. Okay, there are so many people who get great results without ever counting a single calorie. I've done it myself, saw great results without doing so. So no, you don't have to count calories. However, I will say that I think the majority of people will find it extremely beneficial to do so for a short period of time. Be that two days, two weeks, two months, doesn't matter. I just find that for most people it's very eye-opening um, and it is a great way to see how many calories are really in food because I think a lot of people, the majority of people maybe, don't realise how many calories are in some foods, okay? And I also feel that sort of flexible dieting, sort of, you know, building sort of snacks in that you want, you know, like your chocolates, your cakes, etc., is a lot easier when you count calories just because it's easy for you to see how you can fit them in on a daily basis, okay? Now, I will say, you don't do this forever. Nobody should calorie count forever. That's just not sustainable, and your life will suck. It's not as bad, I think, as many people make out. It doesn't add that much time to your day once you get used to it. But all it is, is it's just a tool to build awareness. So I want to sort of go on a sidetrack to this as well and just talk a little bit about intuitive eating. I probably will do a, a video in itself on this. But you'll see a lot of people that say, you know, just eat when you're hungry or, you know, just look at your food and decide how much you have. But the problem with this is people suck at it. You know, let's be honest. If you're having sort of weight management issues and you're looking at your food and deciding how much to eat, it's not working, okay? Um, and you will get people that will say, well, I've never counted before, or I've never done portion control, and I see great results. Fantastic. Keep doing it. But a lot of people don't, okay? And they don't get results. And you'll also get the people that say, well, you know, you don't have to count, and um, I've never counted, you know, don't count because you don't have to because it's not 100% precise. By the way, nobody's ever said that it is 100% accurate. Nothing is. Um, but what they don't tend to tell you, these kind of people as well, is that before this, they probably counted everything for like two years or whatever, you know, but they've done it before at some point or some kind of sort of tracking, be it portion control, calorie counting. So whilst they are at the moment deciding consciously not to care and consciously not to count, subconsciously they are, okay? They know exactly what they're eating because they've done it before, okay? So honestly, I would say give it a try. Even if you do it for two days, track everything that you eat, weigh it out, because I find it so eye-opening for a lot of people, okay? Um, because the whole eyeballing, because intuitive eating is the goal, 100%. You should, you know, want to get to the point where you can look at food and say, right, this is what I'm going to eat, and, and that works for you, okay? But this is a skill, and it's a skill that you need to develop, like any other skill. And you can do that through calorie counting, portion control, lots of other different methods, but it is a skill that needs to be developed, okay? And, you know, there's even studies that have shown that um, people like dietitians and nutritionists can be anywhere up to 500 calories off when they look at food and try and guess how many calories are in it. So if they can't do it, how good are we going to be at it, if you know what I mean, okay? So in summary, no, you do not have to calorie count. You do not have to portion control. But it wouldn't hurt to do it for a short period of time, okay? Just to build that awareness see how many calories, you know, what you're eating, and just to find out what a meal should look like for you, you know, what a week should look like for you, because I think um, in the long term it is extremely beneficial, okay? So there's a video for tonight, guys. Hopefully you got some value from that. If you did, please feel free to like, comment, and share, because I always appreciate it, and it does to help uh, the videos go out to more people, which is, of course, my goal. So please feel, to do, feel free to do that. There's been a lot of engagement on posts recently and I really do appreciate it. It's also my fuel to keep going. Uh, so please feel free to do that. Um, have a great evening. I shall see you on the next video.